Pat Skeets here from meandmycricket.com. That's my website where all of my pages are posted. And um, you can go there anytime and get design space links for thousands of pages. So I hope it inspires you. Today I'm doing this two page layout for the beach. It's the kids playing at the beach and I have so many photos to fit on this page. I've um, matted some already. So there's there's the kids eating watermelon and taking a break, swimming, playing in the waves. It was a very wavy day. I, jumping off the break or, or the, I guess, I don't know. what They build these to stop the waves from eroding the beach. And then I have two other photos that I cropped into little circles. So um, I'm... I couldn't fit everything on, so these had tiny images actually, so I just decided to do that. And they will go right there and there. So I'm uh, cropping these photos into all different sizes to fit it on. And I've chosen paper for the background. It is this um, sea foam, deep sea foam shade. It goes with the photos. I also am using, um, and that, well, that paper is from the Kidlet Stack DCWV, um, and there's a coordinate in there in a red, oh, I'm using it, here it is. It's the same paper, but it's in this color for, uh, to mat the photos, and then I'm also using this stripe I'm going to do um, I'm using Kiwi Lane along the bottom on my page but I thought I'd um, I thought about using this border um, it's a great wavy border but um, I'm not going to anyway I'm using this for the background of the orange one that's here and um, a different paper for and that is from Saturday afternoon this is what, um, who's, one canoe two. Who makes this? American Crafts, one canoe two, Saturday afternoon. Beautiful, beautiful pad, I love this. Uh, so that's where I've got the striped paper is right there. All right, so um, I've created a grouping of pictures here because the photo is their girls laying on the beach because of this that's kind of what inspired this little scene so when I went in to look at beach images I found uh, the chair and the umbrella and then a towel and a bathing suit so I just sort of grouped all those images and then I created um, an offset or a shadow for it uh, so it was um, nice to just do it all then it, it let me place them perfectly by doing it in design space the uh, I found a shell border and I found um, a grouping here a shell image there I also wanted to add some watermelon because they were doing um, watermelon and I put a beach sign down there but I wanted to show you this uh, image at the bottom I have on in my design space I have saved some great borders to start pages with um, so let me see if I go to my projects I'm, I just want to show you this this is wiggly my desk um, design oh background pages here we are so I just call them background pages. I have 33 of them. So here's the one with that border. Um, there's other, th here we go. I've, I've got a polka dot background. This is um, the hill, sunny hills. I did a template, so if I wanna use it again, I have it, I can just do a, a click on it. It opens in design space, and then I just save as 
So this will stay there and then the save as becomes my new page. So I've used, I've got a multicolored stripe. I can change the colors. I've got a plaid going here. I can change the colors. I've got wavy. This is the sandbar image from another uh, layout. Here's a three layer sandbar, a two layer sandbar. There's a flat, it's called flat wave this image in design space so i kept that and I, I just use them for designing i really enjoy using my kiwi lane templates but i i don't like them all the same and they are different heights and things so um i use those the other thing is i have some uh here's a wavy border here's um other templates scallops if I want to use scallops on a page and there's a check and different, I can change the colors. There's a page with brackets. Um, here's a chevron page. If I, I can rearrange them sideways any way I want, but I've saved them for use later. Uh, here's one that's all diamonds. Here's some, now this one has birds in a border and this image and this image and this image and this image um, these are all from a cartridge called ribbons and rosettes and this this tree image is gorgeous it's a border and there's all different sizes of it and different um, different heights and depths and and that they are actually for making um, big fancy circles for parties and decorating for parties and making paper flowers and things. But I use them for borders on scrapbook pages. And I'm going to show you that. Um, if I click on images and then I go to image sets and I'm just going to type in ribbons. I really think this is a good resource. Here it is, ribbons and rosettes. It's for making these great big pen and things to decorate. And these are the images in it. Oh no, it's all font. Until it gets down to the bottom, but it takes a while. Oh here, so there's the pen. So here's the border. So if I say, let me just see if I can find the tree one. That might be easier. Okay, I'm just going to search in this cartridge for tree to give you an idea. Now this is what you will find for each different image. So here's a large one, a deeper one, another one, another one. These all coordinate so you can layer them and you can, they're two colors so you can get rid of the background if one's overlapping another. I just have a lot of fun. I think they make beautiful pages. So there's one that would go across two pages, but um, I think they make really nice borders. So it's a good resource, this whole cartridge. It's um, great for backgrounds. And then I just save them as backgrounds. So when I want to start a page, uh, another beach page, say I have all those splashy waves already there, I can... Um, it, it just gives you a jump start on designing and saves some time. So let's just get back to our page. It's this one is the one I'm doing there. There's that border from ribbons and rosettes. Oh, now it's... <clears throat> All right, so... Um, I've used two shell borders. I, I, why is this high? Oh, there it is. I have a real delayed reaction today on my computer. Okay, so I did a, a larger shell border for up here and another one there. Um, lined up my photos along here and I will have this go over top. And today I'm going to use on my page, Kiwi Lane, and my new funky borders for um, that matches one of the Kiwi Lane things. So I'll show you how we do that. We're going to make it now. Okay, let's put this 
pretty page together. It's uh, nice and colorful for a summer page. Um, okay, I've placed my photos here and I am doing Kiwi Lane. This one is Aspen Court. It's actually um, the number one. So it's the top layer that you would use in Aspen Court. So I cut it and inked it and it opens up like this and I'm putting it along the bottom. But what I also did is I'm using my new, this is called Funky Frills. And it fits exactly on Aspen Court. It tells you right along the bottom here. I don't know if you will be able to see that. Aspen Court Funky Frills 1A one, uh, one Kiwi Lane. I hope you can see that. Anyway, I haven't used this before. This is not the way it goes. It goes this way. And you know what? I always like to mark my Kiwi Lane with a little arrow so that I know which two sides fold together. I should have used a Sharpie for that. I'm going to regret it. Anyway, this fits on these absolutely perfectly and it, get, it creates a really pretty I've used one uh, you get three patterns in a package and I've used one before but I haven't used this one so this is uh, I cut that out in this striped paper right here I wanted a little more color on this page so I decided to use this so see how that just fits perfectly. I love these. They're fun. There's two different sets. I'll have to get myself the other set. Maybe the next time I'm at a scrapbook show, someone will have Kiwi Lane. Um, so they line up perfectly. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to tuck this behind Whoops, here a wee bit. Um, because they're holding watermelon, I said I was doing a watermelon image on this page. So, and it's going right here. Cute. I better take these. Um, I cut little uh, shadows. I cut them with the inside circle of my um, Creative Memories cutting system, the circles. So I used the red for the shadow and the green for the photo. There we go. Cute. Too many pictures on this page. <laughs> All right. Oh, I should take these because I'm just, everything's moving and shifting driving me crazy. Okay. There we go. And now I'll take this on top. And we have Perfect fit. Too cute. I guess I should take the photo. So I'm going to wait. I don't usually, I, ne I don't believe in taping anything down until it's all in place and you decided you like it. But taping is the very last thing I usually do. <laughs> but I have had to plan these out ahead of time. Whoop. I love, I've got a lot of Cricut images on this page. Okay, there. Um, and this one will go. Oh, 
love the way that lines up and it just flows from one page to the next. All right, now for all of these great Cricut images. This is the one we put I put together. So I had to um, ink the edge of this swimsuit quite heavily so that it would show up. Um, I did ink uh, the orange as well over here and on the swimsuit so that it would show. So I'm putting that up there and this is the beach sign. And I had it over here on my design, but the design space waves were different. This one is wider here, so I'm going to put it over here. I also had a large border of shells going up there. Okay, and that'll go up there. And a grouping of seashells. This image I found in Cricut Access or Design Space. I think I'll put this over here. And then I have a small, oh, this will go over so that can move up. And the smaller border of seashells there. Let's lower this photo so I can fit this here. There we go. All right. So, I could even put this on top of this if I want to. I think I like it like that. I could join these two as well. All right, so now when I was putting this together, I was I went into my brads. And I found a little butterfly, so I thought I'd just stick it on there, just because it was a bit plain all around here. So I added the brad there. And while I was doing that, um, I found some other brads that I thought I might scatter around this page. I found a ladybug, and I also found a turtle. And I thought the turtle might be cute walking along the edge of the... Uh, Kiwi Lane thing here. A little yellow flower I thought might go up here somewhere. Not quite sure. And the ladybug. I, it, this isn't quite the right color, so I'm not going to use the ladybug. I just made an executive decision there. So, um, I'm not quite liking this. I, I need, it's too, ugh. And I love this striped paper, so I decided, I don't have much of it left, but I, I decided to put it, I put a piece back here, and I liked it. I decided I wanted to do the stripe, and I didn't have enough to do run a stripe, a border all the way down. So what I did do is I cut it where the photo would be, and I placed it like that, and I liked it a lot better. So I am going to do that instead. So I have to line those up, and then I'm going to put my photo in this, right in the center, so that it's overlapping both sides. And nobody knows I didn't have enough paper. Oh, I think I'm going to raise that because I have to have room for my watermelon. And now I like that so much better. I love this paper, so I like it when my pretty paper shows more. That I like a lot better. But now I'm missing that pretty paper on this side, and I wanted some of it there. So I had another little, a little scraps left. So I cut this out, and I'm going to put it back there. And it, it makes the pa it gives it balance, I guess. This pattern is over here now in a more noticeable way as it is over here. I also finding this a bit, yeah, so I decided I would add, I had a tiny bit left. I'm going to add some under this and put it under that. Just 
And I think that just finished it off for me sort of thing. Now it's looking top heavy. And I think that's because it's it's a little darker at the top than is this one paper at the bottom that's anchoring this page is so light. So I went through my borders and in my creative memories borders under in the vitamin C grouping I found this and it's the same kind of it's a teal shade and I thought it looked perfect on there and it anchors it gives it weight to the bottom of the page so it doesn't look top heavy it just it fit the bill just what this page needed so um now, oh I forgot my watermelon has a face, so I am going to add googly eyes. Oh, sorry. So there's eyes there, and I did do a dot, but I want, um, I like googly eyes. They're fun. So I'm going to put some on here. I found some orangey ones. I used the end of my pen to hold these in place for a minute until the glue takes and I'm getting a little more this is a few layers thick that hole I'm trying to fill that hole up with glue they need to be even there we go that should be good <laughs> too cute Okay, so I am going to use some foam lifters behind the watermelon, and this, and this. Oh, my beach sign too. I find it casts a shadow underneath when you do this, and so it, it gives it real depth, and I like that a lot. I might even raise one of these little photos, because they're uh, just a sort of disappearing. They're so little. So maybe I'll just raise this one right here. Anyway, I hope you like this page. There'll be a um, design space link for this page so you can copy it if you like the idea. Um, and please subscribe below. I will, um, you can go to my website. There's links below as well for that. So thanks for watching and happy scrapping.